Let's look at the basic audience types. There are four main audience types. When speaking to any one type, you really need to pay attention and include certain types of information. This is determined by two main questions, which we will examine now. The first question is, are audience members your seniors, like your boss, or your juniors and equals, like people underneath you in the company, or people equal to you, like your colleagues, or office workers, or other lab members? Making a presentation to your boss means you must keep the presentation short and answer questions at any time. This is very important, right? Because if it's your boss, his time or her time is valuable. And he or she can stop you at any time and say, excuse me, pardon me, I have a question. What do you mean? Make that more clear. And you have to stop and answer. You cannot wait. On the other hand, if the person is not your boss, then the situation is a little bit different. The second question is, where is the audience from? Are they inside your company or outside your company? For guests, you need to spend more time to introduce yourself, explain the presentation before you get started. So in this case, we're talking about two simple questions to ask about your audience. Is my audience above me or below me or equal to me? Right? Above or equal below. Above means someone who's your manager. And in that case, time is very important. Being concise and clear is important. And you need to be ready to answer a question at any time. On the other hand, if it's your colleagues or below you, then you can take more time and usually you can ask for questions to be later. Please hold your questions until I'm finished. The second question to ask is, are the people who are listening to you, your colleagues from inside your company, inside your university, or are they outside, are they guests? Why is this so different? Well, because guests don't know anything about you, so you need to introduce yourself. What's your job? What's your position? What do you do? Not a lot of detail, but you at least need to let them know. If people already know you from inside your company, then you don't need to do that. It would be pointless, right? So we have these two questions to ask. This leads us to make a matrix that we can examine here. So in this matrix, we can see we have the two questions. The first question is, is the audience senior or junior equal to you? If junior equal, then that means your colleagues your lab partners, your classmates, uh, your office colleagues. If they're senior, then it's going to be a manager or maybe someone who's not from your company. They could be from another company, but still they're above you. The second question is inside, outside the company. Is the audience made of colleagues, that is, people you work with? Or are they from outside, guests, people who don't really know you? Okay, well, let's look at the possibilities here. So, if someone is senior in the audience, and it doesn't have to be everyone, right? It could just be one person is senior. There could be many people in the audience who are your equal or below you, but your one manager is in the audience. Well, that's enough. One manager means someone is above you. You need to consider that person above you and you need to make your presentation that way. So if you have a senior in the audience, that is someone who's maybe your manager or your boss, 
And then this is your colleagues, that means from inside your company. Then what do we need to pay attention to? Well, we need to pay attention to the following. When you make your presentation, you should include your name and position. Otherwise, nobody knows who you are, right? But they might kind of know who you are because they're colleagues, but that's okay. You just very quickly say, I'm Clyde Warden and my position is marketing manager. Okay, so you keep it simple, very quick. Next, you give the presentation title and you mention how long is the presentation. My presentation today is on the sales forecast for the second quarter and my presentation will last 10 minutes. Then you tell the major parts of your presentation. This presentation has five parts, including the introduction, the sales review, the sales projections, conclusions, and then question time. So that way we can see what's happening, right? So for people who are your senior and colleagues inside your company, you need to be very quick and formal, but not waste any time. Hello, who am I? What's my subject today? How long will I take? And here's my presentation parts. Okay, well, let's look at if someone's senior to you and they're from outside your company, then how does that differ? Well, we can see here that there is some difference. At the beginning, of course, you tell who you are and what your position is. You may need to be a little bit more clear because they don't know anything about you. You give the subject of the presentation but then you need to tell what's the purpose of the presentation. Why are you giving this presentation? You need to tell the presentation length and then the major parts of the presentation. And then you may have a list of the visual aids you're going to use. And you need to reference the audience. Okay, well, this seems almost the same, doesn't it? Yes, it's almost the same, but a little bit different, especially here the visual aid you're going to use, and reference the audience. These are quite different. Now, why do we do these two? Well, these are very handy, actually. You'll say something like, today, I'm going to use a PowerPoint slide, or today, I'm going to use the flip chart. Today, I want to show you some information in the handout. This way, you let them know what is the information, the format you're giving them. It's a little bit formal but it helps them get relaxed. Also, we want to talk about how long we're gonna take, but then importantly, we want to say hello to you, the audience. Welcome to my company. So this presentation will take 10 minutes and I hope you can be patient and welcome to our company. We're so happy to have you here today. You see, so this would be a manager or someone above you, but they might not be your boss, but they're from another company visiting and you basically do the same thing as inside your company, only a little bit extra, and that is to help make it clear. What is the presentation material you're going to use? And you say hello to the audience and welcome them, reference them somehow. You also need to make the purpose of the presentation clearer because they don't really know why you're making this presentation because they're from outside. If it's your boss, he knows, but that's not your boss. All right, let's look at the lower area here, which is the junior or equal. So these are people who are inside your company, people who know you and work with you and maybe below you or equal to you inside your company. In this case, we're going to begin with the presentation topic. You don't need to say who you are because everyone knows who you are and you are above them or equal to them. You don't need to be so formal. So you just give the topic. 
You need to tell the presentation purpose. Why are we here today? Now, this is important because here you're trying to explain why are you listening to me? I mean, you guys are all very busy and I'm talking to you because I'm above you or equal to you. So this meeting is to tell you something, this presentation is to tell you something. So you need to explain why this meeting is happening, why this is taking place. You need to give the main point of the presentation. You can tell them what the information is. So for example, we're going to be using the slides and you can download them. Or we're going to be using these handouts or we're going to be using these flip charts. You need to tell them when can they ask questions. So you may say something like, ask questions at any time. Or you may say something like, can you hold your questions until I'm finished? Or Feel free to ask questions, but please wait until I finish the first part first, and then we can have some questions. Anything like that. You just let them know when, because they, again, they are equal or below you. And you reference the audience. So referencing the audience meaning, say who is here for this meeting. So I know the staff from the sales department is here, and I know the staff from the manufacturing department is also attending today. Thank you. Okay, so you can see that we have a few extra points here because we need to make it very clear why the people are here. Okay, let's look at the last quadrant here, which is people equal or junior to you, but from outside your company. So they're not inside your company, they're outside. And in that case, you're going to do the most possible, I think. <laughs> you're going to, of course, explain who you are because they might not know who you are. You need to give the presentation title. You need to tell the purpose of the presentation. You need to tell how long the presentation is going to be because again, these are people from outside the company. They need to know how much time you're going to use. Otherwise, they'll be kept checking their watch all the time, getting anxious to get to their next meeting or to do their next task. You need to list the main parts of the presentation because you want them to have a map. You want them to know what you're going to talk about so they feel more comfortable. You need to tell them what are the visual aids you're going to use. For example, you're going to use slides or PowerPoint or handouts or charts. You need to tell them when they're able to ask questions. And again, because they're not above you, they're equal or below you. so. They, they can ask questions later. They don't have to ask questions whenever they want to. And then you have to welcome the audience, which is kind of the normal thing when people come from outside. You have to reference the audience. Hello, welcome to our company. Welcome to our daily uh, briefing, which this is the first time you've attended. If you have any questions, please hold until I finish the first part of my presentation, that kind of thing. So it's very handy to help them feel comfortable. Okay, so that's a very detailed way to understand your audience, right? We have a quadrant here, a kind of matrix, four parts. Why four parts? Because we have the two questions. Who am I presenting to? Are they above me or are they below me? Very straightforward, very easy to understand, and very easy to forget and then you treat every presentation the same. But every presentation is not the same. You need to think of the audience first. So planning for the audience.